Hello dear students, I am Dr. Sangaram Patil. Hope you have gone through previous two videos. That is the first how to create a class and how to create object. And second is why object oriented programming system comes in a picture. So this is the third video of this series where we are checking how to pass value to the class and how to return value from a class. Basically, passing value and returning value from a class is nothing but passing value to the member function and returning value from a member function. And for this, the prerequisite is you must know passing value to the function and returning value from a function topic of C programming. If you have not gone through that videos, those videos, please go through those videos and then start watching this video now consider this program which we have covered in first video we are creating money class in which we have one private member function calculate which will calculate total paise and two mem public member functions read money and show money read money is taking value of rs and ps from a keyboard then it will go to execute calculate which will calculate total paise and then show money will display the total paise. In main program, we are creating object M. So whenever object M is created, your compiler will create one object M with value RS, PS and TPS, total paise. So first it creates the object read money when this statement is executed it goes to execute read money with respect to object m so it will give you input value for rupees and paise same will give you a blinking cursor if you input value 6 enter key 30 enter key value 6 will be given to rs value 30 will be given to paise now this rs and ps it will consider from m because we are calling read money with respect to m so it gives rupees 6 and value 32 ps of m. Now this rs and ps it will consider from m because we are calling this object from m. Then calculate will go to execute the member function calculate and this will calculate total paise rupee from rupees and paise. Ye member functions kaha, kaha, member variables kaha se lega. Now this member variables it will consider from calling object now who is calling this this read money is calling and read money is called by m so this rs ps and tps this rs ps tps it will consider from m end of the function it will come back to the calling program here it will call here then end of the function it will come back to the calling program and m dot show money it will go to execute show money and it will display total I say equal to 630. This is simple example. Okay. We have created object M. But suppose now the calculated value of total paise we want in a main program. Maybe for further calculation, kuch bhi ho sakta hai aage. So, jo bhi total paise ki hai calculate, wo hume total paise display karne hai main program. Okay. So, here we want to display total paise into the main program. So if we write statement like this m dot total paise, this will generate error because the scope of total paise is not mentioned. That means it is a private. <clears throat> and private member function and private member variable we cannot access outside of a class. So, we can access this So, what we can do is, if any member function and if any member variable, if we want to access outside of the class, then its scope must be public, like this. Okay. The scope we are doing it as a public. And then we can access it, no problem. Now, we can access TPS because this TPS, we have moved from here to here. And its scope is public. Now we can access this public. This is the one method. 
but my dear students in real life we we'll never do it like this we never change the scope of a member variables unless and until there is no other way aise koi rasta hi nahi hai hum kuch kar hi nahi sakte to hum log usko change kar sakte varna nahi change kar sakte so what we can do is we can do we can check the concept of our c programming the value which is present in a function if that value if we want in a main program then function should return a value in main program we have to access this value so here we want to print the value so the value is present in calculate but calculate we cannot call because its scope is private with respect to main program we have access only to read money so read money should return a value read money should return a value now read money is returning value so we have to receive a value now we are returning value so void is not allowed so we have to change the data type here we have written void previously because we are not returning any value but now we are returning a value so we have to change this this is not allowed now we have to write here the data type of a variable whose value we are returning so we have to write here integer and as we are returning a value we have to receive a value that we are receiving into the main program like this integer tp so now when this statement is executed it goes to execute read money it will everything doing this and return tps value of tps will be given to now tp now here tps is a member variable which is present within a class and tp is a variable which we have declared within a main program and now we can display the value of tp this concept is called as a returning value from the member function actually it is a returning value from a class okay we can say returning value from a class consider one more program this program this is a reverse of previous program in previous program we are reading value of rupees and paise we are calculating total paise and now we are reading total paise and from total paise we are calculating rupees and paise means if we consider 1060 as a total paise which is nothing but 10 rupees 60 paise and for this separation we have used this formula okay 100 we have used because 100 paise means 1 rupees that's why we have used this okay so in read money we are reading total paise then we are calculating it and in main program we are displaying rupees and paise here we have called calculate into the show money check here but before displaying we have called before displaying the values we have to call calculate now suppose we have the value of total paise in main program maybe we got value from somewhere maybe from a database maybe from a file or maybe from a keyboard and we want to separate it and already class is present okay so here now we have the value in main program so i am removing read money because we have the value in a main program here this value is taken value is taken from a main program so as a tp we cannot access tps because its scope is private so we have the value of tp this value of tp i want to give to the tps this tps of object m but we cannot access tps because its scope is private so now we have value into the main program this value of main program this value of tp which is there in main program that value i want to assign it to the tps of m okay but we cannot write this statement we cannot write this statement because scope of tps is private but we want to do this so value we have into the main program and that value we want to do the function so if value of some variable which is present in main program if that value if you want to access in a function then that value we have to pass from main program to the function that is passing value to the function okay so here we can pass value of 
m dot show money go to execute show money with the value of tp if we are passing a value then we have to receive a value so that value now i am receiving as a t here so from here we are passing value of tp and that value of tp i am receiving into the t into the show money member function now the variable whose value we are passing and the variable in which we are receiving a value their data type must be seen so we have to declare t as a integer and now this value of t we can assign it to the tps sorry here this must be t by mistake i have done this this must be t so we have to write this as tps is equal to t okay and then it will go to execute calculate function it will calculate rupees and paise then it will come back and it will display rupees and paise my dear students don't use this tp this is by mistake typing mistake we have to use t okay this is called as a passing value to the member function thank you thank you very much if you like this video click click on like button and if you have not yet subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel to get further details thank you